Hello, welcome back to Cypress Automation. This is Shurifal. This lecture is the continuation of page object model implementation. In our last two lectures, uh, we have seen what is Cypress, uh, uh, what is the page object models in Cypress, and then the uh, use case or implementation in real life uh, based on a real life application. So this lecture we're going to learn how we can run the Mocha Awesome report that's based on our page object model test cases. Okay, so let's go. Just to recap, in our last uh, you know a couple of lectures, that last two lectures uh, we have seen uh, we have we created two different classes based on our uh, practice page as well as well as our registration form page where we did some scenario like you know uh, select some um, uh, things uh, static drop down then we type uh, can for Canada select a Canada uh, for dynamic drop down then we we did uh, uh, find out this uh, uh, title from over here and, and ensure that this title is displaying and then we went to the registration page so we create another another class for the registration page where we uh, we have a method or for element first name last name email address select uh, uh, selenium automation uh, uh, you know drop down option and uh, select the Facebook um, you know checkbox and then finally we select click on the register so that was the our last two uh, lecture and uh, created the classes so now this lecture is a you know there is no more implementation it's implementation of based on the site uh, based on a page object model is done so if we go back to our our VS code here you can see there's a we created a folder for page objects and inside this we created two different class based on the uh, pages so one is a practice page so this is the practice page and here is uh, you can see all the related method and uh, belongs uh, belonging all of the uh, element and also we have registration page and we we did the same uh, pattern follow the same pattern like create a separate separate uh, function in this uh, page um, based on the our test case element is going to use and finally uh, you know we import all both of the um, classes in our test case which is a code and box test and then you know this is our describe block and then uh, here is we use also before hook to load the page and then we have a two different test cases one is for the practice page another one is a registration page where we call all the related method from these two different classes right so that was the overall last two class so if you haven't seen uh, those classes please you know watch from the beginning uh, the test page object model classes or tutorial and then come to the report because this class is all is all is about just uh, you know to show how we can run uh, the Mocha Awesome report. So I'm not going to show you even how to implement or integrate Mocha Awesome report with your project. Okay, so we have a separate video. So if you go to YouTube in our channel, the Code and Box Automation Lab channel, and uh, if you select one of our playlist, uh, it's uh, uh, called the uh, Cypress uh, for beginner and up there if you open that you can see the Cypress automation for beginner and here we have all the uh, video it's a uh, you know related all different topics in Cypress from scratch from the very beginning right so if you see there is a one of the tutorial we have it's called how to create mocha awesome report in Cypress okay so follow that video if you want to know how to implement or integrate the Mocha Awesome report in your project so I'm, I'm assume that you know about that how to how to do this right so after so because it's the same you know whether you have a pay based on your project is based on page object model design or just the you know the uh, any other framework your report or the integration of a Mocha Awesome report will work the same way so implementation or integration is the same thing same process okay so follow this video so after that so I'm going to you know run let's uh, run our video um, our, our our report so to run our report it means we're going to run our whole test case right we're going to run our test case in a headless mood and then our 
uh, mochaawesome.json file will update will get updated with the latest uh, information with the latest report and from there this mochaawesome.html page will generate a nice beautiful in a UI look report so let's see how we can do this so to do this to run your so since we have a lot of you know uh, files right so if I run npm just so it will run you know all the report all the test cases I don't want to run all the tests I just want to run the code in box test script in a spec file which is part of our page object right so to do this so the command would be command would be like this so to run any you know if you say npx cypress run dash dash, dash uh, report mocha awesome dash dash spec right spec and then it will if you run this it will run all the test cases so but if you run only specific spec file so I'm going to pass the spec file so which one that you have to pa pass the path of the your specific spec path uh, which is my coding box test rest uh, copy the relative X path I believe paste it there yes so which is relative expert which is Cypress integration example and then your just uh, you know the path of your spec file right so hit enter so it will run on a headless mode so you can see it's running on electron browser and it's found you know one spec file it's right so this is uh, my test uh, uh, my test suit which is my you know uh, this one right my test suit so that's my uh, the test suit is found the describe block and now it's running the first test cases practice page test case you can see so you can see the test cases over here so it block you know practice page test case here is a practice page test case and also registration page test case so another it block so these two test cases you know those are the milliseconds how long it t it took to run and then it's both are pass and then it's uh, generate the JSON file you can see it because in mocha awesome report it comes uh, it's a report HTML report built on based on your from the JSON file so JSON file will have all the information all the code behind the scene and from there you know uh, it will create this HTML report and here is a JSON file it's saved and there is a HTML file right so it's here is a more details result it's a two test pass to no fail no pending and total ran you know a uh, duration it took 24 seconds and you can see video also you know so if you want to see the video you can see the video uh, and uh, and it's here is a, a summary you know like two test cases pass to all test is uh, spec pass right so now if you want to see your report HTML report so go to your mocha HTML file right click and copy copy path then open your browser so open your browser and paste it up there the ex your path here we go so you can see this it's a very simple HTML report but it's give you the uh, enough uh, information about your you know test run so that's your test suit my test suit there's a two test cases as we as we saw like practice page test case another one registration page test case you can see it's divided you know uh, uh, you know that's total you know the duration and this is also it shows your all the methods I mean all your code which is like you know in this test case we had you know we call one two three four methods so all the methods code related up there and also over here here is all the so this code is comes from actual from your test case right so test case we have if you see our test case here so if for the practice page so we have get title get drop down search country and click on register form you can see and other one is first name last name if you go to the report you will see the same thing right so get title get drop down search and here is a first name last name all those things right so that's your I mean your code comes from your uh, test cases so pretty much you know that's very simple 
and uh, you know it's it shows it's tell you the two test cases one test sued no fail this is the duration and you can make some you know uh, also change some settings from there so it's really very simple but it's uh, give you some you know nice uh, UI look uh, you know the test report which is called Mocha awesome test report so I believe you know that's all for in to end uh, your uh, uh, test uh, uh, test framework based on you know where we implement page object pattern design so it's very easy but it's very effective you know to maintain your code to uh, keep neat and clean your code and use the uh, you know re uh, reduce the re uh, reusable code so I hope you enjoyed and uh, stay tuned watch further our upcoming videos thank you so much have a good one